We are here, and we're going to go underground all the way to the train station and to the CN Tower, the tallest building in Canada. Okay guys, um, a beautiful day to you wherever you are. Right now, I'm uh, taking you to what I personally call the underground city. And uh, they call it what? The path. The path. That is it, the path. You can see. The path. And here, you say that uh, you have banks underground. Shops, banks. Shops. And it's like a, a little world underground. All these buildings in the city. Oh. Yeah. I love Guys, I just want to see what this place really looks like, which is uh, known as uh, the park. So, um, imagine having on the ground where you have banks on the ground, malls, yeah. and all the rest. Okay. Do we have uh, people that are living on the ground there? Not living. Not living, but right. uh, for the, these connect all the offices. So, wow. During the day, it's quite busy. So let's move it. During you know 2020 during COVID, yeah. there's so much of the traffic down here from offices. When the offices were closed, a lot of the building as businesses had a hard time until they were closed. Oh, okay, okay, during COVID because there just weren't a lot of people here. So you see some like businesses or new ones coming to replace old ones. Wow. We have a lot of this, just tables and workspaces for the public. They have Wi-Fi here, come work. So you can sit here for free? Oh yeah. To sit down and work here? Yeah. Really? Of course. Wow, interesting. Well done. So free work uh, spaces here for people to just sit down and you have free Wi-Fi? Yeah, or if you have some food, you can come eat here. Like Okay, you can buy food and just sit down here yeah. to eat. Wow. Dentist underground. But Mao, um, Ethan, this name sounds like Nigerian name. Adelaide. Oh yeah. How do you how do you pronounce it? Adelaide. Adelaide. Is that a Canadian name? Or it's a, it's a city in Australia, but above us is Adelaide Street. Adelaide Street. But if I were to pronounce it, I would call it Adelaide. Adelaide. That's a Yoruba name. Oh, very cool. Adelaide. It's like two names together. Adelaide. Adelaide. That is it. It's, it's a Canadian name too, but not very common. Can you imagine that? A Canadian name. But originally from where? I think, probably Britain. Britain. You, I would guess. Where? The one thing about the path, it's quite easy to get lost. <laughs> I hope we won't get lost. Anyway, if we get lost, it's going to be part of our adventure. Scotia Plaza. And so now, oh, they all have names, so now we're going underneath. The headquarters for Scotiabank. Okay. So right now we're already on the underground. Oh yes. We've been underground since since we started. Wow. Since we went down the escalator. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Japanese. 
restaurant here. Oh, this one? Yeah. So they sell sushi. Two for thirteen dollar, one for seven dollars. That's where we are coming from. That's the street level, yeah. The street level. Yeah. That's it up there. Yeah. And we are now on the ground. We're at the same level as the subway. Okay. To see a bank there. Yeah, Scotia Bank. So you have a bank here. Okay, so that's the bank, S Scotia Bank. They have ATM machines there, yes. and they are all working perfectly. Yeah, of course. Why? Well, I think so. They should be. Yeah, they are. How are the ATMs in Nigeria? Let, 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 let me see. It's like they are the same as well. Only that it might be different in uh, how to operate them. So this is one of the... Is it only one bank that is here? No. So this is one of the banks underground here. Yeah. But there are several banks in the path. Wow. So this is Bay Street, first uh, Canadian place. Wow, man, this this place is beautiful, guys. This Here's another is... map that shows better how the city is laid out. So we started at Old City Hall, okay, and then came down Bay Adelaide. Scotia Plaza, and now we're here. Okay, this is where we had out here. Yeah. Wow. Look, look at how beautiful this place is. So you can just sit down here. Take my uh, picture of this with this background. It's your photo. Oh, yeah. so. Better, 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 better camera. <laughs> for her. Is hockey the most popular uh, game in uh, Canada? Yes. So when it comes to footballs, you guys are not really there. Like soccer? Soccer, yeah. No. Toronto, did, well, it's, it's getting more popular because Toronto has a very good football team. Okay. Well, they did recently, but I'd say the popularity hockey Mm -hmm. Basketball, mm -hmm. baseball, mm -hmm. soccer, no, and then good. like American football. American football. At the bottom. Okay. Those are the five big sports in North America. What are they serving here? Chicken and salads and just a little restaurant. Okay, you can see the menu here. Okay. 
There's one of these by my house. I've never been inside though. Oh, so we are now at uh, King Street. Yes. Commerce Court. another beautiful session. Guys, we are still underground, mind you. I love this pathway. So beautiful. And you have lift here as well. Yeah. Underground. Yeah. Because this goes all the way to the tower up top. These elevators go from the 12th floor to the 32nd floor. 32nd floor. Yeah. Underground here. Well, it goes up. Up. Yeah. It doesn't go down 32 floors. Wow. Oh, look at beautiful girls here. Guys, if you want a beautiful girl, you can come for one here. A babin salon. Yeah. Only God knows how much they cut here. Yeah. Where's the other bank? Okay, this is another bank. What's the name of this one? CIBC. CIBC. Okay. Wow. You don't have too many people in the bank banking hall. If people enter, just few people, not the one that you have many people queue or. No, it's not. It's not a big. This place is not a large branch. But... Even if it's a large branch, do you really have people queuing up that long? I many don't think people. Five people, but it's not. Five people. Ten if it's busy. I don't know. Come to my country. How many people are regularly in line? In if you go to a very popular bank, you can have up to 100 if possible. No, I the bank I've never waited more than 15 No, oh, but uh, I want to believe that uh, because you have a cashless policy, so it's not necessary that you have to go to the bank to do uh, all the transaction. And there's also a lot of banks, so... We have a lot of banks too. Individual locations. But we are just, uh, in Nigeria now, they are about uh, trying to have a, uh, what is it called? Um, um, cashless policy, yeah. but uh, it's like they're not getting it right. They're not getting it right. But however, I'm sure we'll get there. Next time. Yeah, I know. This is uh, Wellington Street. Wellington Street. We're still underground. We're still underground. But if we get up, yeah. if we get out here, is it still underground? No, we are outside already. If we are outside, yeah. if you go out those doors, we're outside. We're outside. Okay. Oh wow, post office. So this is what your post office looks like? Yes, they all look the same. Place. It's like um, each section has different designs. Yes. From what I've noticed. And here at Brookfield Place, this is where 
the hockey museum is. The, the which museum? The ice hockey museum. Ice? Ice hockey, like sport. Oh. Over here, it's uh, the Hockey Hall of Fame. See it here. Okay. And so it talks about the history of hockey and all the teams and the championship. Mm. But you have to um, make payments before you get in there. Yes, I don't know how much it costs, but you do need a ticket. You can see it here. I used to have a cousin who worked at the Hockey Hall of Fame, and he could get me in for free, but he doesn't work there anymore. But okay, can, here they, they you, can, you can see the exhibitions before the gate for free, if you want. Mm -hmm. Hockey. Guys, how many of you have heard of hockey game? So that's the uh, the most uh, popular game here in Canada. And these are the kids. Yeah. This is Boston, where your brother lives. Okay. Wow. This one, Wayne Gretzky, is the most famous player. Okay, Wayne Gretzky. He's like the Ronaldo of hockey. Oh, wow. Or the Pele of hockey. Where is he based? He's from Canada. He's from Ontario. But oh. now he's retired. He's retired? Yeah, now he's a coach and an owner. How old is he? He is probably 60. Oh, wow. So if we want to enter now, that's when we pick yeah, it's, pick it's a $25, 10 Okay, $25. General adults. Senior citizen. 65 years plus. So guys, let's keep moving.